Hi everyone. I mes I'm making this video video to tell you how to use Cardiff Harbor referencing style in Microsoft Word. If you are, it is gonna be useful if you are a Cardiff University student. Otherwise, probably you won't need it. If you go to the references tab on Microsoft Word and you go to styles, you can see that you have a few styles listed here, as for example the APA style, style or the Harvard Anglia style. But you don't have the Cardiff Harvard style, which is the one used at Cardiff University. Uh, there are some differences between each style. For example, the <coughs> I'm sorry, the API have some difference with the Anglia style. One of the examples we can spot here is that the Harvard Anglia style style reduce the number of authors when you have more than three and instead of naming each one of the authors it only named the first one and for the other authors it only add the words et al as you can see here if we use APA you can see all the authors are listed <coughs> Right? But now we want to work with Cardiff Harbor referencing style. So what are we gonna do? We are gonna minimize this window and we are gonna download this compressed file which is named Cardiff Harbor 2021 that I will leave a link on the description of the video so you can download it and decompress it. And then you will have this file named Cardiff Harvard 2021.xsl. You have to copy or cut, cut it. I'm gonna cut it. And you have to paste it in this folder. This folder is located here in your C drive, user. Then you find the folder with your username, the folder app data, roaming, Microsoft, bibliography, and finally you reach the folder style. Inside the folder style, you have, you can see that the referencing styles that Microsoft Word shows in the reference tab are all here. So we're going to paste the file that we just copied here. And that's pretty much it that you have to do. This file here is a file that I have created. I have created myself based on the Harvard Anglia referencing style. So I've made some modifications to the code. So the, refer the citations and the reference list uh, meet all the criteria used in the Cardiff Harbor style. So we have to close Microsoft Word. And you just, once you have copied the file, the Cardiff Harbor 21XSL file in the style fo folder then you open Microsoft Word again and you go to references tab and now you can see that you have Cardiff Harbor style here if you click it then you see that the style for the citations and the style for the list of references or biography 
also changes. Major changes are you don't have the comma after the list of authors or before the year. You don't have you only have a space. Also, you don't have the ampersand character. You have the word and. And same thing as Harvard Anglia when you have more than three authors you reduce the number of authors and only name the first one and for the others you add the words et al but you don't add a comma after the authors or before the year however you can see it just see the differences you have the comma here you have the ampersand I'm, I'm now showing you the Harvard Anglia you have this difference here. Same for the list of references. And then you automatically can change it for Carbas, Carba, Cardiff Harvard here. See? That's all you have to do. I have tried this for some of the docu documents that you can reference. I mean, I have tried it for books, book section, uh, journal, uh, journal article. I think I also tried for a website. I haven't tried for all of this, but I think it will work anyway. I'm not so sure. But if you find any problem with this file that uh, you will be using uh, to add this style this reference in style just let me know in the comments so i can uh, modify it if, if i get the time uh, i will try to give you a hand uh, but i think for now it's very useful for some people it, it has been useful for myself and i think it will save some time for cardiff uh, university students and also it um, avoid you from using additional softwares like EndNote or Zotero for your references. So um, I think uh, it could be useful for you as well. Hope you, you use it. Uh, let me know if you find any bug or any error so I can uh, modify the code and improve it. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. See you around, people.